Hi guys, it's Molly. Um, back with another video. I'm doing a haul video on the new Max Baroque Boudoir collection that came out November 25th. And today I went shopping with my mom for Black Friday. We went to a bunch of stores and we of course stopped by the Mac store. And yeah, I'll show you what I got in here. So I got two out of the three lip lip sticks in the collection. Um, I was just not really a fan of the other one. It was pretty, but I like these two more. So um, the first, well, before I get started, this collection, it's very pretty. That's the box. And this one is called Privy. Prive. 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 Um, sorry. And it is a very pretty pink. It looks kind of nude, like on my computer, but it's pink. I'll swatch it. That's what it looks like. And it's a really pretty color. Like, it looks really good on all skin types. My mom tried it, she liked it. And yeah, definitely pick this one up. The next one I got is called Treasured. And this one is a nude color. It's a Lester. It's so pretty. It's like skin tone. I'll swatch that. And it's that color. It's like brownie, but it's still nice. It looks good on any skin type too because it's just like a nude color. And to go along with those, I picked up the lip glasses, which come in this tube. The first one that I'm gonna show you guys is called the Lab of Luxury. This comes in a glass tube with the design, it's very pretty. This is like a orangey with shimmer and I'm gonna swatch it and show you what it looks like next to you. see right there and it's like it looks nice with I'll put it over the lipstick because it looks nice over it too I would recommend getting this too if you like having a glossy look with your lipstick. Because this lip gloss that I just showed you, it has gold shimmer in it that I don't think you can see. Let's see, right there. But anyways, sorry. Um, the next lip gloss that I picked up is called Preciousness. And this goes with the pink lipstick that I picked up. This one is really pretty. It, I got the second to last one that they had in the store. Comes in a little brush like that. It's a very, very light pink. It's like almost like clear pink. It's very pretty. And it looks like that. And over the lipstick, it looks like it's just shinier and it's smoothed out more. It's very pretty. So I'd recommend picking this up. I did see the compacts and I know they're really nice and you know, but I, 
I just didn't want to spend like $60 on something that I probably won't use. So I didn't pick it up. So, oh well. And my mom tried her first lipstick and bought her first lipstick from MAC. I was so proud of her. She got Viva Glam 6. It comes in casing like that. It's pretty cool. It's like a dark, ready brown. And it looks really good on her skin tone. Also looks good on mine too. And this is a Lester. So, you know, it's very pretty. And all of these were 22. And I believe the lip glosses were 20 something. I'll post the link in the sidebar. Anyways, I also picked up another palette by MAC because I need to, I have depotted my eyeshadows and I need to stick them in here. And this palette is magnetic and you just stick the pans in and it's very durable. And this was $12.50 I believe and it holds 15 eyeshadows. It comes in handy when you are dealing with a lot of makeup and you go around for clients or anything. I also picked up another MAC Studio Finish Concealer um, in NC35 because I was running out of my other one. So I just needed another one and it looks like this. And I love these concealers. They stay on forever, like, you will not need to change a reply because these, these will last you all day and you don't even have to reapply or anything, so it's perfect. So if you need a new concealer or are reconsidering getting a concealer, then get this kind. It's called Studio Finish Concealer. The last thing I got from MAC is Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. So I don't usually use powder foundation. I usually do liquid foundation, the, S, the Studio Fix Liquid Foundation, because it's good for oily skin, which I have. And I just wanted to try something new, because I've never used a powder foundation. And the MAC lady put it on me, and it looked really good. so. This is what it looks like. And it comes with a mirror. And then you pop, it opens up, and it comes with a sponge. You can pat out. It's very nice. And you want to replace the sponge every once a month because the oils that you have from your face are going to be going back in the powder and you don't want to have a dirty sponge that you put on your makeup with. So for oily skin, Studio Fix foundation is very good too if you don't want fluid or if you just try something new. I also got a cardigan from Forever 21, which I will show you in my other videos because I don't know where it is. I lost already. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just make sure to add and subscribe. Well, if you have questions, just comment me. But please add and subscribe, please, guys. Um, yeah, so. I hope you get something out of this video and I'll come to you with another video soon.